this is video with audio, so I don't have to speak anything from here. Audio little bit loud, please. We do have file pattern for this innovation. This is my toric lens and I run front and side view. Description of toric lens aligner. It has a 360 degree protractor ring with notch for enter into the anterior chamber. Protractor ring has marking of axis with one degree spacing between each degree mark. It has a spur of 3.5 to 4 millimeter length and 0.6 to 0.7 millimeter thickness spacing downwards and having 20 degree uh, projection with horizontal plane of protractor which helps to stabilize the bone during surgery. It has a fixed or detachable handle. Let's do a case study. We have steps to follow like toric planner, pre-operative corneal axis marking either by landmark or by pen marking, intraoperative side post marking at 120 and 60 degree and intraoperative real-time toric oval alignment. Uh, after having decided to do toric oval implantation for patient, we need to have a toric planner and we take help of Barrett toric calculator. This calculator shows the aisle should set at 163 degrees. Pre-operative corneal axis marking. There are various apps on smartphone for corneal landmark or axis identification and marking out of all we prefer to use crystal toric app. App shows there is a blood vessel at 99 degrees. That is a corneal reference mark. Intraoperative side for marking at 60 and 120 degrees. This is very important and crucial step with the reference to that uh, um, pre-operative corneal landmark which was at 99 degree. In the reference to 99 degree, we use Mendel's marker and find out 60 degree and 120 degree and put little ink marking at that point. There, the side port will be there. Intraoperative real-time toric oval alignment using our tool. My newly developed real-time toric aligner is in action. Once the irrigation aspiration is completed, all the scar removed, we introduce toric lens aligner into the eye through one side port by a spur. Protector ring is now set 360 degree parallel to the limbus and globe is stabilized and we can maneuver the globe also. With the help of irrigating cannula, I will can be easily maneuvered, easily rotated. We can see there is a one degree spacing between each axis marking. Now, in this fashion, we can align the toric lens as per a desired axis because we have 360 degree protractor post-operative oil axis location into the eye. We take a snapshot of determination image of an eye in our auto spectrometer crystal toric app will help to depict the exact aisle position into the capsular bed. So this lens is set at 164 degree. Post operative reflective result. Practically all set and 00, zero is there. Advantage is it's a real time toric lens and neither can be compared with other sophisticated very expensive software and equipment dependent image guided system. Yet it's simple, least expensive, least complicated user-friendly mechanical tool. There are other uses where you need corneal axis location in concern. So this is, I am doing uh, opposite section OSSI with the use 